Name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful. Cleavage of large molecules by restriction, uh, cleavage of large DNA molecules by restriction endonucleases produces a variety of fragments. How can a specific gene or DNA sequence be picked out of the mixture of thousands or even millions of irrelevant uh, DNA fragments? The answer lies in the use of a probe. A short, single-stranded piece of DNA, labeled with a radioisotope such as 32P, or with a non-radioactive probe such as biotin. The nucleotide sequence of a probe is complementary to the DNA of interest, called the target DNA. Probes are used to identify which clone of a library or which band on gel contains the target DNA. So that is a case of a uh, sickle cell disease and uh, the task is, is to construct a 12 nucleotide probe complementary to the coding strand of the sickle cell allele. To identify sickle cell mutation, DNA isolated from the white cells is denatured into single strands and oligonite a nucleotide probe is constructed that is complementary to the portion of the mutant globin gene. It forms a double-stranded hybrid with mutated sequence, which can be detected by electrophoresis. Sickle cell anemia is caused by a missense mutation in photon 6 of the beta globin gene. Probe complementary to Mutant allele can be constructed by uh, using Charkov rules which state that a cytosine always base pairs with a guanine and adenine with thymine. The complementary probe will be anti-parallel to the coding strand of the mutant allele with all the sequences written from 5' prime to 3'. Prime, so it will be written as CTT, CTC, CAC, AGG from 5' prime to 3'. Prime. So that is how C is complementary to G. Again, C complementary to G. D complementary to A. G complementary to C. D complementary to A. G complementary to C. Now coming to the next codon, number 7. G complementary to C. A complementary to T. And G complementary to C. Next, 8th codon. A complementary to T again A complementary to T and G complementary to C and the probe is going to be read in the 5 prime to 3 prime direction. This is a case where a complementary DNA probe for glucose 6 phosphatase associated with restriction fragment for, from baboon liver is constructed. This probe is then used to test similar restriction fragments obtained from marmoset and human liver. There are dark bands with probes seen in both results from marmoset DNA and human DNA, which implies that both contain the glucose 6-phosphatase. To sum up, for detection of mutation by allele-specific probes, Probes for mutant and normal alleles are constructed. If both probes bind, it means sample is heterozygous for mutant. If only normal allele probe binds, it implies that there is no mutation and only uh, and if only probe for muta mutated allele binds, then the sample under consideration uh, is from a patient homozygous for the mutation.